Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Reed's Point, and this is a new horror film taking place in the New Jersey Pine Barrens and dealing with the Jersey Devil. And being an Italian-American from New Jersey, and knowing exactly what this is talking about, I am very critical, and I am very critical of this movie because... Uh, but as we get into this film focuses on a bus crash that leads to the death of some people and the missing a missing teenager and her cousin goes searching for her in the Pine Barrens making all the dumbest possible decisions in this like hour and 15 minute movie because they trust random strangers who take them out into the woods and the movie even calls out these characters on that like the movie's trying to be smart about it but it's just terrible tropes that the movie keeps leaning in. There's nothing truly original about this story, and it also lacks a lot of logic, especially towards the end of the film when it's trying to lean into some of its scares with the whole Jersey Devil thing, and it has really weak motivations. It just tries to beat you over the head with this historical context that doesn't really add enough weight to this movie to make you feel actually connected to it. And throughout the film, you're just sitting there like, why do I care? Is this something that, like, I don't care about any of these characters? They're all underwritten. They're a bunch of stereotypes. A lot of the acting is very awkward and uncomfortable. And you have all these characters out in the woods doing stupid stuff, leading into really obnoxious tropes of horror movies. Like, of course, the big, strong young man's going to get hurt in the middle of the woods, and then he has to limp along the whole rest of the movie, because who doesn't love watching characters limp along in a horror movie? Because then they're easy prey. And even when it gets full-blown, like, Jersey Devil kind of stuff, looks like a demonic Muppet, because, like, I don't, like, the costume doesn't look very believable, and, like, when it has these scares towards the end of the film, they literally make no sense, and the setup is so stupid that it's just like, I'm not scared, I'm just very skeptical about why you think this works, and in the end, it's just one of those kinds of things where it's just like, this is a really low-budget film, it really shows, the acting is very amateurish, the you know, the screenplay just leans on all the possible tropes that it can. It lacks logic. It's just one of those kinds of things where it's just like, it has this idea, it has some interesting ideas, but squanders them, leaving you pretty unsatisfied with your experience. But those are my thoughts on Reed's Point. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.